became interested in medical genetics during a summer that I had an opportunity to be doing research. Actually, it was in cancer research, but it involved cancer genetics. At the time, I think I was attracted to an area of medicine where a lot wasn't known, where there was an opportunity to be seeing patients on the one hand, but breaking new ground on the other, where no day was like any other day, where you really felt like you were on the cutting edge and asking questions nobody had asked before, helping people who nobody was able to help before. You feel that you are helping people who frequently have been literally wandering, oftentimes from doctor to doctor, not getting a clear answer to their questions, not understanding why it is that they're dealing with the problems that they're dealing, and you can open doors for them and turn on lights that nobody else has actually been able to help them to do up to that point. I tend to see a lot of people with neurologic disorders that have a genetic basis. Uh, although I was trained in pediatrics, I see lots and lots of adults because over time you become comfortable with dealing with those issues. When I trained, cancer genetics was essentially non-existent as an area of focus. Now a good percent of my practice is involved with working with people who have a familial risk of cancer and offering them testing and then helping them to make choices about ways to reduce their risk if they're found to be at high risk. So I see a very diverse population of patients and I'd say in a week no two days are alike in terms of what I do or the kinds of clinical issues that I'm dealing with. There are some days when I'm in clinic most of the day and seeing patients usually together with a genetic counselor and oftentimes a genetics resident. Uh, there are other days when I get very involved in teaching. It becomes, in a sense, part of your identity and part of your life. I, it would just be very hard to imagine even wanting to not be tied in in some way. Um, and that's not to say I can't take vacations and can't enjoy myself doing other things, and certainly do. It's just that I, I don't do this because somebody pays me to do it and it is therefore a responsibility. I do it because I just view it as part of my kind of fundamental fabric and identity. And so it would be hard to imagine not thinking about it because the problems really are, are just kind of hardwired into me at this point. We have the tools at our disposal to answer the questions that literally have been nagging at us since the dawn of medicine. I mean, you could look back 2,000 years at the kinds of questions people were asking, and it's our generation that has the ability to answer those questions. So there has simply never, ever been a more exciting time in the history of medicine to be involved in medical genetics is the engine that is driving that forward. We are increasingly in a position to offer new medications, clinical trials for new approaches to treatment. So the most difficult part historically has been that we often couldn't treat or fix the things we're seeing to a greater and greater extent that is melting away. So the training path for medical genetics involves doing at least two years in an accredited residency such as internal medicine or pediatrics most commonly, but any ACGME accredited residency, after which you can then enter a genetics residency, which is a two-year residency. There are combined programs, which are five-year programs, involving internal medicine and genetics and pediatrics genetics, and there's also a combined program in maternal fetal medicine genetics. amount of information that we have the capability of obtaining is literally monumental, but the task, which is a task that's going to take a generation, 
is putting it all together and making sense of what it means medically. So, you know, there you might take the point of view, well, the genome is sequenced, what more is there to do? But, you know, in essence, what we have is this huge, huge volume of information, and we're only just beginning to learn to decipher it. So, the opportunities for people who are entering the field to contribute to the understanding of the significance of the genetic code and how it interacts with the environment and how that information together can be used to improve health. We're just at the dawn of that era and so there is a huge amount left to be done. You may have heard or may have the perception that geneticists deal with exclusively rare and obscure disorders that are very important to the people and the families that must deal with them but still are a tiny, tiny slice of medicine. So therefore, you would think we wouldn't need very many people to deal with that. And I guess the message, first of all, is that it is exactly the opposite, that genetics is essentially all of medicine, that there is no corner of medicine that won't be touched by the ability now to look at the genome sequence and harness that for medical benefit. So the opportunities are boundless. That includes new directions in managing rare disorders, including treatments, but it also involves dealing with common day-to-day -day conditions that affect all people in one form or another. Uh, so my message really is that if you want to be on the cutting edge of, in essence, the engine that is driving progress in medicine and have an impact in virtually any area of medicine that interests you, medical genetics is the place to be. I have been following patients with a disorder I'm particularly interested in, which is neurofibromatosis, now for more than 25 years. And I frequently get phone calls and emails from adults who say to me, probably don't remember me, but you took care of me when I was a young child and now I'm grown up and I have some questions about my condition and I trust you as somebody that will give me straight answers. So the fact that you can establish what are really basically lifelong relationships with people who are willing to come to you when they're in need and believe that you know, the, the, the expertise that you offer provides the answers. To me, that has been the strongest source of gratification.